Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this webinar. I'm excited about sharing something that I've learned over the past few years. And being from education fraternity, the best thing that we can do is start on time. So thank you so much for all of you joining from across India. And I'm so glad to see this whole fraternity of alternate schoolers, homeschoolers, curious educators, learning, and hopefully the tribe will increase. I am Dr. Daud Waid. And, you know, just for a little uh, preposterous and flattery me is this little girl who will introduce me and then we'll take it forward. Welcome, Juaria. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Today, I'll be introducing our guest speaker, Dr. Daud Waid. Dr. Daud Waid is a mindset coach, an educator and quizzer, an electronic engineer, MA in education and an MBA. He left his lavish career as a patent attorney in Switzerland, Moscow, and Dubai to work on SDG Global Goals and Skill Workshops. He has authored the Education Riddle. He heads an online e-school and a sustainable academy, Golden Sparrow Hub Schooling, headquarters at Navi Mumbai. He loves horse riding, quizzing, and traveling. Reach him at daud at the rate skyeducation.in. Thank you. Thank you so much, Juaria. And probably if you like to search, you can actually go and search Jumpy Juaria. She's a homeschooler herself. And I think as much as I am proud of introducing these young students, I feel very courageous to see that they've succeeded where we believe, you know, what education could be, what fraternity can do, and what open schooling, the options that it can have. So what are we here for now when i said nios a lot of us you know saw is an opportunity to grow our knowledge to learn an alternate board and i must admit all of you i was prejudiced until a few years ago nios my wife said who is an ma in psychology and she's the one who pushes me so you know where she does all the experiment from uh i said it's for weak students it's for special children and it's not for regular students i'm a cbsc student Trust me, I've, I've done my CBSE from Andaman and Nicobar. I stood third in the entire island. 95% you know, in two, 1996 in CBSC is achievable, laudable. Today, everybody gets 97, 99. But then the idea of choosing NIOS for my own children, for my friends, daughters and sons was difficult. But then as I explored more, I met some of the friends, some of the educators, some of my mentors and gurus who I'll probably introduce you today. I found out that this is a board, like any other board in the world, a board that probably gives us flexibility, choice, and hopefully it's a board we can take it forward. Before I proceed, my friends, I would like to see and hear some of your reactions. What do you think are you expecting from this webinar? Don't worry, it's not a sales funnel. There is no promotion at the end of it. It's a, it's a one hour session. I love to give all that I know. I promise you to give three things at the end of the session. But if you would like to unmute, use the chat, let me know what are your expectations. It will help me understand what we can, you know, how can we frame the next 60 minutes of the session. I'll co wait for a couple of sessions of suggestions from you. And then I'll tell you what are the three things I'm going to give you today. So go ahead. You can use the chat or you can unmute and speak up. Yeah, just, just quickly give me a snippet. All right, thank you, Willie, and I would love to have your session at some point, but is it valid? We'll, we'll talk about that. It's wonderful. Is it aggregated? Uh, can we write uh, neat exams? Can we write IIT? Thank you so much. Willie, sir, is one of the educationists I admire, so probably I've got so many questions from him. Where do they do the exams? Thank you so much. I'm making a note of all of the questions as I'm writing and typing some of the pointers here. Anyone else would like to share something? Go ahead, please, ma'am. Please go ahead. You can unmute and speak up. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I am running a center currently, which uh, I would want to run on an NIOS format. And uh, so I went to the website, but it's not very self explanatory. So that's what I'm expecting actually understanding the entire framework of registering the center, registering as a center and registering the students into the framework. Uh, Hamza is an IITN uh, running an amazing work. I've seen his work. I met him. Uh, I would love to have, you know, you all talk. Each of you could share a lot of details. 
So fair enough, I'll probably give you a brief overview of what NIS centers are and how you can you get aggregated. Uh, and ma'am, uh, this is a valid question. Will children be eligible for it? In short, yes. How? I'll explain perhaps in a little uh, longer format. There is Bhubaneshwari ma'am who said, students accept in colleges? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Uh, this is the third year or the fourth year of my running NIS center. And the students are placed from across India and abroad. So an answer, yes, but hopefully we'll give some more pointers across. Uh, Rakhia Sengupta, ma'am, uh, could you go ahead, unmute and speak up? Okay. If you can speak up, wonderful. Yeah, please go ahead, ma'am. Uh, I just wanted to ask that uh, uh, is an NIS student um, eligible for enrolling in uh, universities abroad? Absolutely, ma'am. So I will try to share some testimonials, but in short, the answer is yes. Uh, uh, and ma'am, I will share some of the affiliations in UAE, which is a good news. So you know, sometimes my answers may be very short right now because I have them in the presentation. But NIS as a center has a study center. So when you join an NIS, you don't have to be a part of any organization. You can be an independent candidate. They will allocate a study center. Like I'm in Nerul's, Navi Mumbai. There is a study center right, you know, uh, 10 minutes away from my home. You could be in Bhubaneswar, you could be in Chennai, you could be in Surat, Gujarat. You will have study centers in every single town and city of India. And you also have study centers in Gulf. I don't know why uh, as, as our government, it's a government board. We have a lot of love for Gulf, but not Singapore and Canada. They're only centers in Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, UAE, as in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, everywhere in Gulf. Unfortunately, not. I've got students in Singapore or Canada. We do not have centers or NIS in those cities or countries. But across Gulf and India, yes, absolutely centers. And they do accept the NIS students. I've got a gist of your concerns and questions ranging from just the eligibility criteria ranging from the choice that we are doing and how do we take our conversation forward. So thank you so much. Probably I'll take you on a small journey. So this entire session is divided into three parts. The first is the most boring part where I will just quickly share why this change, even an acceptable change. A lot of you are parent, guardian, educators. A lot of, uh, I, I will get the answer to strictness in NIS also. Thank you. Keep writing your messages. I'll read both. Uh, one will be the journey what pushed me as an educator for over the past 15 years now into choosing NIS as a board of my choice. So that's the only part where it's non-NIS perhaps. Second, I'll give you the entire format of what NIS is. And third, I will give you a gift in the group where how do you register your child? You don't need a center. You don't need me. Of course, we are there to help as an entire team of Golden Sparrow. But the idea of Golden Sparrow is democratizing education. You can very well register yourself individually as a parent or a center for NIS. So I'll give you these three concepts and hopefully we'll uh, probably take some questions after the end of each module. Well, change is the law of nature. Uh, I'm not too sure. Varsha ma'am, there is a very big sto social stigma so NIS and this is exactly what we're trying to, you know, uh, unburden ourselves with the fact you join Pat yourself on the back, congratulate yourself, you've taken the first step. And I said, you could be ambassadors of this board. If not you or your child, it could be your neighbor's child, it could be someone who is who's unable to attend a school for some reason, NIS is there to help. Well, quickly running into my script here, you know, it's a very basic thing. We all have seen what happened to BlackBerry. A mobile phone that was beyond, you know, you know the, it was the Apple phone, it was the iPhone of the time. Where is BlackBerry today? Blackberry, if you're using Blackberry, perhaps we'll look down upon you as you would look down as you might use Hotmail. Somebody gives a Hotmail address. This is what happens. In the last 15 years, almost 50% of Fortune 500 companies have gone extinct. Nokia, Compaq, Blockbuster, you know, Kodak. Perhaps it's going the same way where the dinosaurs went. And post-pandemic, we realized schools could go the same way. Well, I'm not saying schools, uh, but there is an alternate education system available. I, I have great friends. My only friends are in education system from principals to school heads and chairmen. But I do know that we need to change the very criteria. And this is where the entire concept of board comes in. You know, what we teach in school is so redundant today. Can anybody, you know, how good are you in your maths? Can you just tell me what these numbers are? The Roman numbers, right? 
Can you just tell me what this number stand for quickly? Let me see how many of you are, are Shakuntala Devi's out here. MCM XXX. It's far. It's four. We know that at least. What's the number standing for? It's a date. What date is it? And if you're like me, scratching your head, unfortunately, we are still learning this in school. Do you know where is the only time you're looking at learning Roman numbers? Today, the only place you see Roman numbers is on those aesthetic-looking wall clocks in a house. We don't use Roman numbers, but we still teach them. Or, for that matter, you know, we could look at history. In Hindi, you say "gare murde ukharna." You know, you literally, you know, you know, you 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 getting the old graves lit up because history is a subject I love so much. But unfortunately, the way we teach social studies, we've not done anything. Or, or language, you know, today thanks to Shah Rukh Khan, you know, Simba, Aryan Khan's voice, I love the movie. But what about the subject? Have we done Nukkar Natak? How many of you kids love Munshi Premchand or, or you know Hari Vansh Rai Bachchan? I knew I had an amazing teacher, which is why I love the subject. Somewhere down the line, the choices are not with us. Or, for that matter, the way we teach biology. You know, I still remember the way we were taught about stigma, pollen, style. If I had to give a flower to my wife on my anniversary, or probably the day I miss the anniversary, I won't believe what if what I know about the flower. I need to know how I give the flower. Well, it may look very, very uh, summarizing, but this is the world I came from. As an educator, I was heading a Delhi public school. CBSEI, Mr. Salman Khurshid sir is doing some amazing work. Two years as a head of a school, I still realize I had to fight at every step to ask for change. You know, in my library there was a big sign which says "silence." And I said, "Silence." The word in library or "shush." That's about conversation. So I finally decided that good friends even now I admire the work. But some of our schools, and not all of them, you know, there's some great school educators out here. Some of the schools are unwilling to change. And you know, I, I did some work with IIT Delhi. I I went there for a conference as a moderator, and it was a divine coincidence. I met this gentleman. Yeah, the Amir Khan. Uh, what is the Funsuk Wangru? His name is Sonam, sir. So Sonam Wangchuk is a real man. And I said, sir, I'm coming to Leh Ladakh, and I'm quitting my job. I already had quit my job. Can I come and spend six months with you? Sonam, sir, my inspiration. Uh, we were flying back to Mumbai, and that's the first time I was happy to take SpiceJet, a flight that's always delayed. And I, I really chewed his brain. And he said, "Why don't you go back and start what you're always dreaming for? Ladakh is always there. You can take our next flight, train, and come to me." And that is when I came back to Mumbai, where I belong. And he told me, "Do it for your daughters, if nobody else." And we started the whole idea of Sony Kichidia, the Golden Sparrow. The idea was to create a Gurukul-like system, an alternate school. But the main question was, where do I get my learning from? I picked up few books. I wrote one called the Education Riddle. It is a riddle that can be resolved. I am a big fan of Sir Ken Robinson, Sugata Mitra, Soul's self-organized learning system, and Carol Dweck's mindset. Combine all these theories. Learned whatever little I did in my work as a patent researcher and engineering work that I did in Dubai. End story. We came with a model. We believe. Where NIS became the catalyst for change, I run a program called Golden Sparrow. It's a structured online support system for all alternate schoolers, anybody in the armed forces who are traveling all the time, anybody with a medical reason cannot join. Let's say your son or your child or your neighbor's son is supposed to be in grade seven or grade eight, but he needs little help in grade five. The online school is is a dream for most of us. My daughter's finished the NIS from the online school. Her friends did that, and this is where NIS became a heaven-sent gift for me. In short, this is my journey. And the first thing, first thing when we started this whole program with Golden Sparrow was what's the board? Because you see, you know, as in it says in Three Idiot, Sharma Ji, kya kahenge? You know, when you tell a child that you're doing an alternate school, they're like, "Bachcho ka career kharaab karna hai kya? Bachcho ko life mein aage nahi badhana hai kya?" And that is when I realize boards are by themselves milestones, not destinations. I work with some of the best schools in and across India and 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 across the world. I know some of the IB school. There's an IB school, the first of its in Madhya Pradesh in Bhopal. There is an IGCSE school in and around Mumbai in 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 Rasipuram, Coimbatore. And I realize all these schools are good, not because of the boards they have chosen, but because of the pedagogy they have chosen. 
Let me repeat myself. It's the pedagogy that changes a child, not the board. Boards are brilliant. Boards are a template. And that is where we got stuck. You know, the only reason we are hanging on to an ICSC school or a CBSC school is because the masses are going there. What NIS brings is a different flavor. Is NIS better than the other boards? No. Is NIS worse than the other boards? Objective question. No, again, it's a board. How do you use it? So today what I'll do is in the next 20 minutes or 25 minutes, we'll run through the features of NIS. You will get some answers. Perhaps you'll have more questions to go ahead with. Hopefully, it'll cover a very, very basic structure of NIS. And then we will take up more questions across. When I was listing down the advantages, where I listed the entire thing, the entire presentation, my dear friends, is for yours. I will share in the same group. The recording will be shared for all of you, but it will help you understand what NIS is all about. Live is what people attend, and hopefully we can share this as we go ahead. I'm not running through the entire list. These are the pointers I've put in, but let's start with the negative part. You know, they say there are two news, good and the bad. Which one do you want to hear? Let's start with the bad news. NIS have four distinct challenges. I will not say problems. And most of you asked a question. The question actually was social stigma. NIS, if it gives a certificate, does not give a U dice number. If you go to any school, private or otherwise, they ask for a U dice number. We've written to the board. But does it hinder you? It does not hinder the admission. We will learn a way to overcome the U dice number. So that's one. Sometimes we did realize there's a lack of transparency or in terms of what happened to the result. And these were all the myths we heard. When I took the leap of faith in NIS five years back, there were many of them which are stereotypes. It builds up. Uh, do you have problem in CBSE and IG board? Probably yes. Delayed result? Yes. This year the results were delayed by a month. Did it affect the students in getting the admission of the choice? Maybe. But did they not get an admission? No. All of the students got into colleges. Some of us said, what are the textbooks available? We overcame a lot of hindrances. So we do the negative stuff up in front. I tell you what is a fact and we will work out a solution. How does it make it better? Well, NIS number one for all of us to have little faith in it has close to 2 million students in the one last two decades, close to 15 years there. It's a board on par with CBSE and ICSE. There are three registered national boards in India. And if it makes you feel good, our Honorable Prime Minister's photo is on the NIS website. You know, it is a sense of credibility. It's a sense of authority. It's a sense of your conviction that this is on par with any national board. There are three national boards in India, CBSC, ICSC, and NIOS. My professor, Professor Raja Ram, an ex-NCRT uh, head, told me for the first time that NIS is in the same office where NCRT office is. NCRT is the textbook that CBSC uses. So there you are. I mean, the entire point about is NIS aggregated, is it affiliated? No, it is completely under a Ministry of Education or MHRD as it was called earlier. It is an autonomous institution and it has its own affiliation and aggregated system and this is the website. 90% of the information we will give you or you need is available. But like most of the, I always love to compare NIS with Indian Railways. As much information you'll get in Indian Railways website, you'll get in an NIS website. Why? Because it is so big. Our nation is so huge. You cater to the rural, you cater to tier one, tier two, you cater to the urban, you cater to the different urban demographics. This is what NIS is catering to. Somewhere, Perhaps educators like me and you will have to create awareness, raise a flag and tell people, look, there is an option available and this is what we are looking at, creating more awareness with NIS. In the next few 15 minutes, I'll tell you what the board's progression is, what subjects, some of you ask questions about higher studies and examination pattern. Well, it's an Indian board, enough options with regards to subjects and it is easy on the pocket. Well. Of course, it's a factor as an Indian family, do I get NIS cheap? So when as an institution, you might charge for the training, you might charge for imparting the education, NIS by itself is one tenth of an IGCSE fees. I'm, I'm a Cambridge consultant to many schools across. I endorse Cambridge. We use Cambridge curriculum until grade eight because NIS gives you the flexibility to use any curriculum of your choice until grade eight. We'll talk about that. But 
still for a ed excel or a cambridge exam i end up paying 50000 for grade 10 70000 for grade 12 and in the range nis will cost me around close to under 10000 rupees 3 and 1/2000 if you register and another few thousand for the for the exam fees that's an average charge that an nis student pays even if you are abroad that's the charge an nis examination will charge you there is no registration fee other than for a private student for aa like some of you want to know how can i become an nis aa and ai center i will probably you know take this conversation aa and ai on a different level it's more detailed for an institution but aa is accredited agency so let's say i'm running a small center like how golden sparrow is and i do not have huge space but i can still become an nis registered center for what we call until grade 8 that's called aa 25000 rupees is the charge you pay as a demand draft you need a lease agreement and few other documents i will share all of these details in the group everything that you know should be democratic so we'll share that entire information the portal is open now for the next few months please apply and you will get the affiliation there will be a team coming and and checking that's one ai more difficult because it is for grade 10 and grade 12 you need a lab you need some space you need exam centers you could be a school who can go for ai i recommend a lot of school heads and principal for example that is dr jaya a good friend of mine she runs a school in in mira bhander such a large school should become an ai center so that students benefit and good schools become ai center you can still be a cbsc or igcse school and still become an nis ai center so this is in short a lot about nios uh, i hope you are able to catch up with me there is lot of information going across but still this will recorded i'll share this information later with you but it's a very very overview of what nis is about right apple to apple comparison where does nios stand a lot of us usually ask question what is nis nis is a name of a board like cbs and then they say what about grade 2 get out get five if your child was in a grade uh, cbsc school grade 3 who conducts the examination the school right if your child was in ib school in grade 5 well there is a there is a you know end of the year the, the pyp ends and myp stands up but at the end of it schools are responsible to hold examination until grade 9 right nis is no different if you are an nis student nis gives you something called the obe what is obe it's called open basic education there is an entire webinar i've done only on obe which i'll be sharing the link later right level a is equivalent to grade 3 which is your child would be you know 8 years old nis will give you a syllabus they will not give you books until grade 8 they will not have exam pattern you will be allotted a study center and the beauty of it is the study center can be anywhere i'll take up some questions maybe after this couple of slides the study center for only ob can be away from a city of yours let's say just an example you are in mumbai and you wish to have a exam in chennai possible until grade 8 you have to go write exam the study center will give you marks they will have an exam and they upload and you get a equivalent transfer certificate which is acceptable by schools without a udice number and i asked we asked the director she said we do not give udice number but this certificate is valid you can go to any school apgs and presentations and ryans and don boscos or state level because it's a government no school should deny you on the basis of the certificate level a is equivalent to class 3 level b is for class 5 level c is for class 8 which is where ob ends this is the entire structure of ob beyond that we have got grade 10 which is secondary nis and senior secondary nis is grade 12 so lot of information let's take up some question i saw varsham i'm raising a hand so let's go ahead and we'll take this conversation ahead hey. okay so uh, one thing i wanted to know that uh, <coughs> you mentioned that uh, uh, till 8 you have to be registered to a school so 9 10 10 uh, my understanding is you don't have to be affiliated to any school or any uh, you can individually just study at home also and directly give the exam is that right understanding right sir so so even until 10th you do not be affiliated with any school and as doesn't want you to be dependent but yes you will have a study center let's say uh, there has to be some body to validate 
a student, right? So NIS allocates a study center. This is a rough example. Let's say Golden Sarah is a study center in Nehru. So when you apply to an NIS board, we will go through that uh, chart or application. They will give you a suggestion of certain study centers in the city or the area you've chosen. You choose that particular study center where you need to go and write the exam. This is mandatory. And when you write the exam, they will upload the marks until grade eight and, and you get your certificate. Fair enough, sir. Yeah, uh, my kid is right now in ninth, and I am thinking of, you know, uh, moving over to NIS for next year. He's in CBSC board now. So, uh, you know, of course, so that, that's why I asked this. Like, you know, so next year I'll have to enroll to a particular study center and then uh, work with yes. them. Or that is compulsory, sir. Uh, what I'll also do is if, if we have enough time, I'll run through the entire process of filling in, or I will share the recording, which I have done for my own daughter. And probably, you know, you can follow the steps, you can pause it and it'll be easy. So, Willie, sir, because your question was so valid, I'm, I'm repeating the question. It is on the chat. OBE registration is not mandatory. It's an optional thing. You know, for example, I want to know, I'm teaching, I'm a homeschooler. I want to know at grade five, is my daughter on par with a national curriculum? Like if tomorrow she goes to a Delhi public, will she be on par with a Delhi public syllabus? OBE helps me do that. I honestly only have done for my eldest daughter. I am not done for my younger daughters the OB registration because it's not required. I am convinced as an educator what I'm teaching is good enough. Ninth and tenth, the good part of NIS is NIS expects you to study for two years for two reasons. One, the syllabus is vast. So sometimes people think that NIS is very easy. No, sir, it's not very easy as in it's not a cakewalk. You still need to study. But it, the chapters, if let's say you take science as a chapter for grade 10, there are 32 chapters in science. So probably it says, why don't you start from grade nine itself? So two years, you divide it in two parts, you prepare well, and you can pace yourself. That is what NIS allows us to do. Can, can, I, can I ask a question? Please, now? please go ahead. Yes, sir. So in order, to, in order to do that secondary education, if you could go back to previous slide. If you could, so, sorry, sir, could you just repeat? I, I missed you. If you could, if you could back, go, go back to previous slide, please. Uh-huh, OK. Uh, yeah, this one, secondary course and senior secondary. So OBE, ABC is required for that? Or, oh, thank yeah, you and, so much. Okay. And, and no, it's not question. required. Okay. No, it's and, not required. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you, you want to add something? Go yeah. ahead. A second question is like OBE, B, if I want to appear, my, me means my son, then A is required or if I want to go for C, then B is required, something like that. Okay. No, no. So this is this is not Flinto. What is that Fortnite? The game that kids play. You don't have to finish one level to go to another level, which is a beautiful part. As I said, the entire OB levels are optional. You don't have to follow them. In fact, because you know, like how we do it, we set our own paper. So we don't even have to use a, a, a specific curriculum for OB. They give you a framework and you can choose any book, any curriculum and you set up your own questions. Even for grade eight, which is a very valid question. When you apply to grade 10, there will be a small column which says, have you passed grade eight? When I first appeared for my daughter, I was not sure. Like, oh, she's not gone to school. So has she passed? All you have to do is self-declaration. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you say yes. And NIS will not ask you why, where, what. Sometimes you need to write down on a handwritten note that I have cre passed grade eight and, and, and I can go for 10. So that's also you can directly go for grade 10. OK, one more question is that. Is um that um, if somebody like what's the age limit for example somebody was unschooled there are a lot of people are unschooled here right and wants to go for and like no age limit what is the age limit like somebody can go directly see if he's even sam seven or somebody's 12 can go for obeb something like that okay so minimum criteria for grade 10 is 14 years uh I have seen students like, you know, uh, some of the students I have taught and uh, my daughter, they've got a credit year. So usually you appear for your grade 10 at 16 because you're 14 years and eligible. You can still appear for grade 10. It gives you like, you know, a year in bonus. That's a minimum. So you can't go beyond it. You know, uh, no genius is allowed in NIS. I'm sorry, but 14 years is minimum for grade 10. There is no upper limit. There's which no is, problem. of course, that's not an area of preview right now. But yes, there's no upper limit. There has to be a minimum of two years gap to appear for your 12th. So let's say you finish, uh, you know, this year I finished my grade 10. I need to wait for one year to go for my grade 12. So 2023, I finished my grade 10. My 12th will be 2025. But I'll share that there is an advantage to use that one year extra. 
All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks. And one last question, Daud. Please, sir. please, sir. That um, is there any alignment with national education policy, or is there any restrictions in national education policy? Okay. So that? NIS uses boards and books by NCERT. So it is on the national framework. So NCF, uh, NEP is is a very relatively new term. We use it very interchangeably, but it is the NCF, National Curriculum Framework. and as as we really said so it's absolutely aligned to that sometimes so sometimes i'll be honest with it the subjects might look outdated for example data entry is a beautifully easy subject to score well on but it's an outdated subject my students still learn about excel powerpoint when we do scratch and coding and python but i keep saying that as long as you're appearing for an exam and you can score well why don't you still get the exam marks and still study on your own that's the whole purpose of nis at the end of the day so some subjects need a upgrade but they are pretty easy to align with uh, there was a long question so i a practical i will answer about the practical as i go ahead and re examination probably i'll just take it in the uh, q and a because that's again to do with the board and how transparent the board is yeah uh, thank you so much sir no no thank you so much for your ask questions this is the whole purpose of the webinar now what are the subjects that are available you know let's say now i'm specifically going to my grade 10 and grade 12 until grade 8 we are very relaxed it's it's pretty easy the subjects is a choice so you can take up physics and you can take up business studies you can take up psychology you can take up tourism mass communication economics this is the beauty of it so you can choose the subjects you want from grade 10 bigger choice bigger pool to choose from grade 10 i'll give an example so minimum minimum a child has to finish do five subjects that's minimum so it would be one language so mostly will take english so we teach them hindi and marathi but if they don't want they can skip writing the exam for these subjects that's good so the child does not study for the exam they study to enjoy the subject then there are subjects like math science if i don't want math for example for some reason i don't want to do math i can skip math and i can take up say business studies i can take up psychology i can take up home science these are the options i cannot go beyond seven subjects also you know just because i'm brilliant and i think i can write i don't go beyond a particular amount of subject so there we are i think that's the most beautiful part you just explained absolutely thank you so much sir so you see these are choice so the moment you see the coach i'll give you an idea you don't have to worry about but the moment a coach starts with two that's grade 10 subject so for example i see number 5 painting i endorse 5 and 6 because they're easy to score and they're pretty light on a child so you your two subjects are taken care of then you focus on say 9 and 10 maths and science and you can add up english is compulsory but you can add up a business studies and trust me these subjects give them a great understanding psychology as students take up psychology and they are wonderful subjects some of the authors are very well known you know they've got their own sessions and seminars because it's an it's a it's a democratic bureaucratic system there will be some subjects which might be a little dry you might still study or segment feud when when openheimer is the flavor of the town but i think the good bad and the ugly comes together at the end of it the child studies a subject of the choice absolutely really it's a dream come true it's wonderful now what about other subjects these are some more optional subjects uh, these are languages used to from sanskrit urdu arabic sindhi malayalam tamil so there are there are teen number of languages as many national languages you know or regional languages are there that option that's called a group 2 only optional but you can take up something like a carnatic music or you can take up entrepreneurship number 25 some wonderful wonderful subjects are available in nios we usually have a cocktail so you know we recommend the child to take up xyz subjects some are easy to score and some they can spend little more time dwelling on something i love to talk about are the vocational subject last year nis made a vocational subject compulsory this year they they decided not to have them as compulsory subject but i still went ahead and started asking students to take up a vocational subject for example just look it's a government of india board they have tied up with microsoft so the certificate that you get after doing a certificate in ai data intelligence and machine learning is a certificate from nios and microsoft there is a certificate in data science these are subjects most of us do not take up for the fear of it but trust me there are some great teachers who can teach online i recommend these subjects as an add on and because you have taken minimum 5 if you do not pass let's say i do not pass i have some time to appear again it will not come on my on my report card and nis is pretty generous with that in fact uh, i would just like to invite all of you for a session tomorrow a free session tomorrow and i will share the link in the group 
on the power of AI in the classroom and not about what I am doing. But this child, this boy is an NI student who has, you know, finished his 12th right now. He's taken up these subjects and he is fluent in machine learning and AI. You know, forget machine learning. I don't understand what my wife says. How do I even talk to computers? But he will be taking part of the session that I do. And then I will do a lot of chat GTP and, and Leonardo and mid journey for educators and parents like me beginners level and i've asked a very good friend of mine to take up a next session hopefully a week later on an intermediate or advanced level but these are students who are super confident and as i say ali for ai you will meet the child tomorrow the student a very bright child a little more on the vocational subject i had a girl she loves to do you know fashion designing she wants to go to nift the Ahmedabad nift or puna one she has taken up a a, a diploma course so there's a certificate course in embroidery certificate course in designing there is a beekeeping course if you believe it so i would not dwell into so much of it but advanced web design there are students taken web designing and i know mr alex from don bosco a brilliant teacher so there are teachers available and there are subjects available it's an option we have can i take a deep breath and a glass of water somebody asked about exams and practical let me take you through that journey now nis have a very structured program so let's say you take up a subject. What happens then? NIS wants you to write three specific examinations or marks related pointers. And, and this is specifically grade 10 and 12. For grade, uh, uh, until grade 8, there's nothing like that. You just go for final exam and that's about it. For grade 10 and 12, the first step is called the TMA, Tutor Mark Assignments. So it's like a basic six questions, the standard six questions you will be getting. Uh, they will upload the question paper and then become better. Until two years back, you had to physically go and submit that. It was a whim of an examiner how they exam. Now you only scan and upload it. You get your marks immediately or probably it's not as immediate as, as booking a ticket on Make My Trip. But you still get your marks. You can check it. This almost accounts to close to 20 marks around of the total 100. Depending on the subject from six marks to 20 marks so say painting is six marks because there's more more marks for the practical but generally tma is tutor mark assignment you submit it say two or three months before the actual examination and you upload it and you're done with it the next part is the practical practical has two parts you still need to go to your study center and do the practical see you just and i doesn't want you to just do an exam so you go to a study center they will decide a date there are two components of practical, formative assessment and summative assessment. Yes, it's a Cambridge language and NIS understands very well. You will, for example, if you take up data entry, a subject I recommend, there are 60 marks allocated for the practicals. 30 marks for FA, 30 marks for the SA, and most of the students I've seen get as above as 50 and plus. So you are getting 50 marks out there. You are writing your TMA probably around uh, data entry is 8 marks. You get 60 70 marks already allocated you write a 30 marks theory paper you probably can get 90 95 so easily so anybody who said nis is very strict did not look at this kind of scoring students have done very well in a subject called painting in, in you know and, and not just this other subjects also but this is a format for nios so i explain about tma i saw some raise hand nija ma'am you can go ahead ask your question or please write down or oh, else go ahead we'll we'll go to the uh, resources but before beyond that if there are any questions i'll take up some quick questions on the marks or the pattern of the exam paper so i raised my hand uh, for the last yeah, thing and no, no it was for the last thing my question has been answered okay oh, i'm so sorry so fair enough uh, now uh, with the marks done students can they score well i'll actually share some real mark sheets with you so i would do that because that only brings a conviction Trust me, do not Google NIS mark sheets. I did the damage when I was choosing NIS for my daughter and I only got mark sheets which are 45, 35 failures and it only hyped and my myth, the one we have all collectively learned about NIS is a poor exam scorer, NIS doesn't give good marks, it only got validated until I put my own daughters in the water and they came out swimming very well like Michael Phelps. Where are the resources available? NIS is notoriously known to send books very late. True, that's a fact. So you apply for NIS grade 10, you might get book three months, four months late. Although it has improved now, 
thanks to the courier service they made the books but but i always tell the pdfs are available for free on nis.ac.in it's absolutely free it's right there also nis have something call the previous question papers available for you download it if you don't have to worry about download ask us and probably one of us will share the paper with you it's an open source nothing is hidden you can take it i also recommend buying these guides this is a snapshot of an amazon uh, two publications do nis guides top and there's something i, I probably have uh, uh, another one pretty cheap guides are very comprehensive this is grade 10 so i'm just running to grade 10 similar guides are available for grade 12 you know the code now the moment it started two it's great then the moment the code started three it's great well very easy go to flipkart go to amazon the guides are at your doorstep oh yeah there there is all is well no wonder i couldn't recall neeraj and all is well these are two other publication i recommend the first one called tops nothing good or bad about them it's 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 just better maybe my preference but the guides are available for every single subject of nis so you have the pdfs available for you to download the textbook will eventually reach you Uh, the quality of paper is recyclable not very good but the pdfs are very good you have one complete pdf and the resources are available online also just as a gift to all of you we have done a lot of recording of the chapters of particular subjects and they are available on our youtube channel uh, uh, you can just put golden sparrow hub schooling on youtube subscribe to the channel and all of these videos you know i have got more videos and subscribers but there are a couple of other channels one is a private channel for the students out there but there are certain open videos for example there is an entire mass communication grade 12 entire 21 videos the whole book there is a new one we are doing for tourism grade 12 they are available Uh, some of the videos have entire theory of how to apply for grade 10 how to apply for grade 12 what is ob most of the faqs so please go ahead search us and you can find answers around this brings me to the trickiest part the part i enjoy and hopefully you know by the time you are tired of me for an entire i am speaking this is the myth and i as don't give you good mark and this is a real paper i downloaded from the internet i'm sorry whoever this child is i don't know this child but these are the kind of papers we get poor marks no exams exam centers are very far away they cannot write iit je or, or, or neat exams all myth every single is a myth no ni students are doing very well this is one of my student uh, uh, mozam uh, look at his score right now and it makes me very proud to see that these students probably you know i spoke to mozam's father now he's joined the gems uh, warki group school in dubai and he's doing his igcse an nis grade 10 student going abroad doing his igcse he had to get only equivalency certificate with any child from india needs and the entire process if you have to go abroad to study is 11th and 12th he's taken up chemistry he's doing very well and his scores are brilliant 92 in english 95 in data entry 94 in maths low score in science average score in business studies and i asked his father so i called up his father he works for a very reputed very large it company i said i'm so sorry your son did not score 95 plus percentage he would have otherwise scored in a cbse school you know what he told me he said mr daud you know what he learned beyond the schooling is more valuable in life than the scores he got and that really swelled my heart with pride so thank you so much to the father the son and everybody else i'm not say you know it, it looks very uh, preposterous it looks very uh, boasting but trust me this is just to make you believe that these students have scored there is another child it's a, he's an online child now daniel bandukwala from karnataka father is an entrepreneur chose nios his score is 86 percent and look at his ex- marks english maths somebody says you can't score high in maths he's got 88 in maths somebody said you can't score high in science he's got 83 in science and these students have not taken tuitions they have studied online most of them have studied on their own and they've done very well and now they know how an uber business studies work or they know the logic behind some of the e-commerce and trade these are students we speak about another student has gone to dubai and his testimonial is i have loved the encouragement we do sdg in golden sparrow so the idea is life skills public speaking entrepreneurship these are subjects they have taken and they have done very very well uh, uh um bilal uh, sister these are students all from secondary grade 10 right now it's all grade 10 i probably did not show some of the results of grade 12 there is a child kausar jadwit she's finished her 
she is doing her chef call in a Michelin five star restaurant in UK after 12th. There are students who have done the 12th and they've gone to regular universities and doing very, very well. So, so all of them, and I, I'll just add on, uh, I should have put a screenshot of uh, this particular child. This is a student, not my student, I wish he was. Uh, from Chennai, Arjun Bharat, Google him. He scored 96% NIS and he is now in IIT Chennai. So can you go to IIT with NIS? Yes. What does it require to go to IIT? Probably only efforts. So this is his entire concept. He's a badminton champion. He studied NIS as similar to CBSE. Well, he studied enough on, on a working day for going to IIT. How do you get into IIT? Well, you get into IIT by simple concept, practice, practice, practice. These are students who have done very well. I probably think that we, you know, I have the last segment, how to apply for NIS, which I'll share as a separate video. This is the Times of India report of NIS student. NIS had a problem with NEET. So I'll be honest with you. you know, a, a few years back, NEET did not accept for medical examination NIS student. Now look at it. NEET is a government body. NIS is a government body. The Clash of the Titan, Godzilla versus King Kong. Is that a movie? NIS ap appealed in the Supreme Court. Supreme Court took a stay, right? And today, NEET has to allow NIS students. Any college, any school who denies NIS, under RTI, the school can be decredited if you, if you do not allow a student. There are multiple ways to not take a student. Probably they only want a, a donation in different words, but that's something any student, any school have to face it. But NIS by itself do not face discrimination because they are NIS. Maharashtra, so if you were to apply for grade 12, after 12, digital Maharashtra, if you go to the website or if you go to Maharashtra admissions, now every single admission in Maharashtra is online. There is a specific column, not just for CPSC, state board school, but also for NIS. You don't have to ap apply as any other candidate as a private, but you apply as an NIS candidate with, you know, collar high and you get admission like any other student. So NIS is equivalent to any board in India, CBSE or otherwise, under the Gazette of Ministry of Human Resource, Government of India, and the child can very well back into it. So as I said, how do you reach IIT? Well, you just read by these three. Dale Carnegie said that I probably just, you know, the plagiarized Dale Carnegie, practice, practice, practice. You can reach Netflix the same way. I don't know if Tesla is still a very aspirational company after Twitter became X. But most of my exes are on Twitter now. But Google, Facebook, Twitter, they all require skills over certificate. And I think NIS is really giving us skills beyond anything else. Uh, I'm here to answer all your questions. The last segment, I'll share how do you apply to become an NIS center. But yes, the question opens up. Please ask me. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So, um one of our goals is to kind of you know deburden the child of uh, you know uh, having to do kind of you know cramming up studies at um, CBSE, and we have a very good institute uh, in our hometown Pune for uh, you know a, a good coaching class uh, for IITs. So what I was thinking, I'm sorry, which city are you in? Pune. Okay, oh, wonderful. So. I was thinking that if I have to, you know, have him focus on the foundation course of, uh, uh, you know, this uh, IIT for 9th and 10th. Uh, so I thought that com combining CBSE and foundation course currently, the children just don't get enough time to, you know, get deep uh, into the subject matter. It's like, you know, in school you have seven to eight subjects and the coaching class. So combining uh, uh, see, uh, annoy OS with the IIT foundation course, my thought process is to kind of, you know, enable child to get more time and more flexibility in terms of his studies. So what would your thoughts be on this? Uh, a lot of students have done that. that that's a process. Uh, with NIOS, it gives you, as you rightly said, the choice of subject, the flexibility to write exams. You can even write exam in two parts because at the end of it, uh, a, a NEET or an IIT do not look at your grade 10 or grade 12 results. They actually want you to crack the, their own exams. Also, sir, a lot of these study centers, if you're looking at Allen or Pace or Mahesh tutorials or any of these, they actually have it integrated within the system. Ideally, yeah. if you have somebody take up the role and the onus of teaching, it, it makes it easier for you. You know, the application, the process of it, that's, that's the only part. I don't want a parent to go around hunting for uh, how to apply, when do I have the exam. So if somebody takes the response, it becomes very easy. 
alternatively if there is a very focused uh, coaching center uh, which says that we will do a lot of intensive study and only that i i kind of endorse that because they're very focused on that you can also opt for something like what we do not just golden sparrow there are many alternate online schooling program where the child studies for 3 days or uh, 3 hours a day uh, for i'll just give you the format i am aware of and probably it might look like endorsing it but hopefully you know it still is uh, we do 4 days a week 10 o'clock is when the classes start we finish at 1 o'clock and you cover most of the subject that nis will need the oh. child opts out so let's say you've taken up uh, mathematics so you go for the maths classes you've not taken up uh, a subject like psychology you skip that subject and you end up having somebody tutor you somebody you know push you behind write your tmas go for your practical finish your practical journals somebody takes care of that and the child focus on the examination the competitive so competitive examination is really the word is true it's very competitive so the child needs to focus so if if somebody only offers that take this option write an online program take it up and and you know the child is focused on the program so but all the best to your to your child and and, and let's go ahead sir i love to see more nis yes ma'am so that means uh, the time investment per day would be on an average 3 hours for appearing for the kind of 10th equivalent yes so so it is 4 days a week 3 hours a day yes okay and are there any then uh, uh, self study that the child is expected to do along so, with this along with a regular so a teacher let's say teaches a particular class and, and for example in grade 12 we will recommend okay take up uh, a subject like tourism which is a or mass communication probably they have to go and revise it as as a, you will revise for a normal examination but right. most of it will be taken care in in the class itself okay great thank you absolutely so i'll just give an example of as a father now not as an educator my daughter finished her uh, 10th uh, last year Uh, and when we enrolled for nis grade 12 one of the advantages that i found out is of course it it requires two years gap to write her 12th examination so she chose seven subjects now the best part is she can write these subjects in two parts she is a 11th student as of now in a regular school but she wrote three of her examinations this year or rather she wrote four of her examination this year done and dusted uh she scored well uh, that secondary to it but now she only needs to write three more examinations a year later and that's about it so it is an advantage for somebody appearing for a competitive examination you can break yourself into two parts finish off with it done and dusted don't have to think about it again so you can look into that sir uh, so for any other things? yeah please so for 9th and 10th also you have the same facility if somebody enrolls for let's say 9 so you can give uh, let's say few exams in 9th standard and few exams in 10th unfortunately no 10th uh, where they want you to you can write exams in two part in 10th but that is only after 10th uh, okay so uh, if you enroll at age 14 which ideally is grade 9 then you can do that Mm-hmm. So, enrolling at, at at age fourteen, you will expect them to write it at sixteen years. Since you enrolled already, you can write it as a as a student on ninth. But probably we say that for tenth, we don't you know give the limit. We say go ahead and appear all five exams in one go. Okay. It's easier that way. But yes, you can do that if you appear uh, at at grade you know at age fourteen. Okay. And can you give exam more than once to improve your scores if needed, or just it's like once you do and it's done? No, no. Uh, I, I didn't harp on that part. There are nine attempts a child should give, can give, and I really wouldn't want a child to do go that step uh, for five years. I really would want my child to do once, and that's about it. But but you can give multiple exams, and you can always improve the exam. There is a concept called ODE, on demand examination. Uh, I, I'll come to the Dubai Center on demand examination for students in other board. Let's say you are a CBSC student, and you scored poor in chemistry. Uh, some of them have not scored enough in chemistry to pass you can actually have a toc transfer of credit only do an on demand exam it cost around 750 rupees per examination just give you a, and you can still go and only write a chemistry examination and they will transfer the credit to you as in you passed chemistry or scored well in chemistry. that's an option available great uh, quickly taking up one more question in the in the chat uh, and ma'am so dubai center uh, probably what i'll do is i'll run through a place how do you apply and it will give you an answer when you say dubai is a very big place i don't know where you live in dubai let's say you are in bar dubai you are in karama you are in jebel ali uh, you need to check where the center available is there is a drop down menu 
and there you need to choose a school which is closest to you so that is how nis will give you an option uh, you can even google centers in dubai unfortunately some centers are inactive so ideally when you apply for it you will get the right center hopefully you know uh, we are looking at some students in riyadh in dubai and we will be visiting them soon so we'll I'll, you know in the group I'll, if you just whatsapp me i'll keep a note and when i met them meet them i will share exact location of the centers some of the gem schools are more likely centers in dubai so all the cbsc gem schools or delhi public schools in dubai are a center okay uh, rajita ma'am yes a child for engineering so so you need to understand this is a standard subject right you need to do your pcb or pcm to go into medicine or engineering so you can take up tourism or business but as an add on subject after you've taken maths and science or, or ideally maths physics and chemistry for engineering maths physics chemistry and biology for or don't take maths for bio, uh, for neat but you need to do your basic subjects and then you can apply it's like a commerce student cannot jump to engineering if you have taken statistics economics accounting these are some good subjects but they are commerce subjects quickly so running through certain kind of uh, uh, so there are a certain kind of prerequisite that needs to be uh, finished right so uh, at a go it can go beyond five subjects or was those five subjects seven. only for the maximum is seven yeah thanks so much Achha. so maximum is seven you for can, uh, there's a prerequisite to take up let me see if i have the slide i've taken a screenshot of it I, i'm not doing a live demo but i'll share a recording for live demo this is how you apply for nis for someone who wants to become a center also the same website uh, there is a open link but i will probably share that link later but for you to apply for a student individually you go to nis there is a learner scholar or you go to sd nis this is just student portal for nis there you click on basically the the idea is you click on admission so i'm just going sorry you click on student section you click on admission there you are in under admission you probably can go to academic which is number 2 on the drop down menu and then they stream one so right now it's open i go to stream one uh, april 2024 i'm appearing for next year so that's one year gap that i get and then once you click on it it takes you to this page a student portal you need to uh, write down one very important thing you need to keep with you is the aadhar card of the child so that's a that's the document that usually is 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 very good so you ex you accept an aadhar card and you do that once you do that you apply for it the course you choose is secondary you fill it in very importantly you will ask for two otps and as is is very specific you need to have a specific mobile number and an email address as otps you will get two distinct otps you fill the otps in and you are in the in the registered list fill in the details fill in the otps two distinct otps most of the parents sometimes they don't they think okay mobile i've got otp your email address has to be very very specific get an otp generate an otp and you're in these are some of the categories you fill in and this is what some of you are asking it asks for previous qualification all you do is go down to grade 8 and say yes passed that's all it will not ask you where how give a certificate it does not nis does not ask anything under the institution guardian name you can leave it blank some are optional the star marks some are just you know uh, optional so you can leave them blank this is where the cocktail comes in the part where i enjoy you can select subjects in course a group a you select maximum two subjects as in two language hindi and english idly i only take up english for my students i do study we study hindi till grade 8 and then 9th and 10th we make it optional as in not an exam subject so we watch a lot of movies or we would do some skit but not study for the exams it's an option then this course b which is only languages you can choose any language you wish to you can skip it it's not compulsory under course b you can choose maximum five subjects so you have data entry maths you have entrepreneurship you have home science you have a cocktail of subjects you can choose from maximum five plus one here six and you can choose one more subject as a vocational subject remember i told you web designing uh, there is data science there is machine learning there is embroidery multiple subject now it's not compulsory so you can skip it if you choose you can still have it and then this is how it looks like so you've taken english i've taken four subjects from group b data entry math science and painting and i've taken basic computing again it's a very beautiful subject it scores well so i've taken basic computing and that's that that's my seven subjects i've taken across 
that is when you go to a place where it says what is your study center ma'am you ask me dubai you write down dubai here in a drop down menu and it will give you a list of active centers i i stay in navi mumbai so i come under district thane and my choice of school is don bosco a brilliant school i have seen students from bhivandi come and write exam here i think father adolf and and noel sir have created a value addition that's one of the vision he is one of the pioneers one of my mentors who encouraged me to take up nis so god bless him and and this is where you take up these you must choose three unfortunately you know uh, you are forced to take up two more options don't worry take up one option which is your priority and just mark two other options or close by nis will take up the priority option and that's your study center exam center would be different from a study center just on a, on a, on a caveat exam center is where you have to go only five times or seven times as many exams you've got and it would be somewhere in a radius of 10 kilometers study center would be closer that's about it that's the only thing you need to know few documents you really need to have it handy as you apply a good photo a selfie will do a signature sign on a white paper take a photo keep them uploaded make sure the sizes are, are right sizes under 1 mb the websites you can squeeze it aadhar card your birth certificate aadhar card is good enough for a birth certificate a valid address proof and that's about it so once you apply this is the exam fee for this child they filled in you see there just five documents i've i've filled in and and, and probably 15 or uh, 2500 and that's about it you will get a notification and congratulations you've done all that you need to do probably that's all you need to learn uh i've exactly completed an hour with you I will take up some more questions and I'll unshare the screen. But well done, all of you. You've completed one hour of NIS with me. So thank you so much for your wise audience and your questions. Any questions? I'll take up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so my uh, kid is going to go in ninth now. So uh, so he will be. So sorry. Uh, if he completes eighth, then this is the right time to apply for ninth and tenth, right? Fair enough, sir. Uh, probably, if you want to wait for a year, you can do that also. Since he's just completed eight, you can still take up a year because anyway, he'll he'll write his exam in 2025 as a grade ten student. So this registration for was for ten standard. For ten standard, yes. But you said that for for ten standard, you have to give ninth and tenth together in an. Sir, so you don't. Uh, they expect you to study for two years, but it is okay. not mandatory. we usually say that you start preparing because some of the subjects are vast but you don't necessarily have to do that you can you know most of the students are bright enough they can still study for a year and they can still go ahead and write the exams so for a student completing eighth the process would be like study for one year uh, don't register but uh, next year register so that uh, uh, you know he has uh, uh, 2025 to uh, give his exam right so so ideally uh, you if he's 14 years you can still apply you can still apply and and keep the books or the papers ready okay. but but you can only write the exam next year probably you're a little late this year sir uh, since we are already in the august uh, you will you will end up paying a late fee which is not very high and as is 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 pretty uh, not 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 expensive but i would recommend since you already you know covered the entire year appear fresh apply next year and, and appear for the 2025 examination okay fine fine thank you so much i'll quickly answer rajita ma'am also uh, the practicals for grade 12 so ma'am the three parts of examination that i explained to you tma is online practicals the study center will inform you ideally you need to be updated there you need to go and meet somebody the study center will tell you practicals usually happen in the month of march uh for the for the april examination and the exam will be april if it's an october examination like an uh, like igcsc practicals will be somewhere in september ideally i recommend going for the april a standard batch where most students go for so the practicals for subjects like uh, maths for subject like science subjects like home science you will be given a specific date you will have to go to the school with a journal Uh, there is a small video recorded on how to prepare a journal which is available on the website i'll share those links with you prepare those journal 10 practicals there's a practical manual and as gives you you copy the practical do some experiments go there the teacher will ask you a viva and that's about it so that's for 12th and 10th as well uh, i had a question uh, in relation to this about uh, uh, the exam centers within the greater mumbai uh, region 
to find a science center for kids who are appearing for science uh, related subjects it's mm-hmm. very hard to find one so there was one in uh, kurla but uh, uh, when we went to uh, check if those centers were working they were not working so okay. i uh, so there are many inactive centers and those uh, uh, emails and the phone numbers are not active they, they are not functioning so how do we get a hold of uh, places or exam centers which are fully equipped are uh, working and all that all right so so ma'am if you are not very far away from if you since you mentioned kurla as a center uh, there is father agner in washi there is uh, don bosco and see with the centers i personally uh, you know uh, go to i meet them i see them very welcoming uh, very generous in their advices and very helpful to the students so if you can these are the choice of centers you should go for i agree some of the centers are not as uh, vocal as energetic as forthcoming as some centers so if you are not very far away these are the centers i'll recommend but if you whatsapp me and let me know your sp- uh, uh, purvanand don bosco seawoods i know uh, father would tell me you are sending every child to my center but don bosco seawoods is a center i really recommend beautiful center we are, it's a center we are uh, we are actually from sion and uh, so sion is not very far is is my recommendation uh, however you send me a specific area and i will suggest some of the centers there from the drop down menu ideally you will look at a center which is functioning and the center will let you know uh, okay so okay. that would be there uh, quickly I'll, i'll just take up one or two questions i missed out on the beginning uh, okay and ma'am thank you so much for asking golden sparrow is a structured online school it's a k12 school uh, we started pre pandemic as an alternate schooling in nerul you can come and visit us in nerul uh, uh, probably will be welcoming you but then we realize a lot of my friends in chennai in kolkata pune which is a hub of home schoolers want wanted something which is you know online after pandemic and still they have a best teachers so that is when we we chose to have golden sparrow online schooling as a regular schooling there are almost 100 students studying primarily from across india in mumbai many of them in mumbai some of them in gulf and there is an entire team of teachers for teaching online so example there is a teacher in lucknow there is a teacher in goa in pune some very good minds teachers who chose to teach online and students who chose to learn online for example there is a parent whose child wants to be in the ipl and he needs to practice a lot so they have chosen to come online or they someone my own daughter wants to learn german so she chose to study online so they are 20 teachers in all uh, led by Joyce ma'am my principal uh, an admin team there is a observer and these are classes that run on a regular school basis we give a certificate at the end of the year if a child wants to go they get a proper tc they get proper report card the assessments done until grade 8 we follow the cambridge and for 9 10th onwards in 11 12 we follow the nis with the subjects i just showed you about so you can always reach out to me to christina to to shazia and probably i'll share a small uh, link or, or, or a small poster in the group itself thank you for asking ma'am quickly i'll take up one or two question and then we'll we'll wind up and all of you are welcome uh, you know to post the message in the group hope we'll we'll open it up after this uh, yasmin ma'am the criteria to open up a study center as i said to begin with you need to become an aa center if you are a smaller premise you need i will send the documents to you you need to have a small lease agreement a basic premise say around 2000 square feet you need to have a trust deed uh, you should be at least 5 years old uh, you probably need a couple of teachers a head teacher with a qualified b ed degree some of a basic criteria that you would need to open up a, let's say a primary school uh, nis will will ask you to apply there will be a visit from the nis there is a small bd you need to fill in and once you do it you are almost ready to do the ai center uh, aa center ai you need to be a proper recognized school to become a ai accredited agency that is what we talk about so so there we are uh, welcome uh, for all the answers i would take up there are a couple of hands so elsa why don't you speak up please unmute uh, hamza uh, if you aren't a five year trust as long as you are registered it is okay you know i will share the documents with you i know you are doing some great work in vikroli uh, probably a year and and you know you can explain how you are growing they are they are looking to have good center so so never say no you might still apply and you might still get the affiliation uh yeah doubt sir assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam please go ahead sir 
uh, I have a kid, you know, he's seven years old. And I myself, I run a uh, center in Ulve. And I'm uh, brother of Tuskeen Sheikh. So okay, you're then, already like him. Yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, now uh, this kid, he is not going to school. Uh, before COVID, he was in uh, pre pre uh, pre school, like you know that uh, play school. He was in a play school. Now okay. because of some reasons, I am not able to say, uh, you know get him uh, admission in school. So how can I go about with this? That is first question. And second question is how to convince the spouse, you know, that yes, you know, open schooling is better than the 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 conventional uh, you know schooling method that we all are. Uh, just you know, uh, r r running behind without even understanding the quality of education or the time that the kid is spending is that valuable? Yes, uh, so the Who spouse. Part, part, uh, I think a diamond ring will only do, and beyond that, I, I myself are struggling. So you can look into that option. Uh, I, I beyond that, sir. I think alternate schooling or open schooling. Is a choice post pandemic. We realize uh, somewhere down the line, we still have this, you know, the the mentality of what we call the herd mentality. Since everyone's going to school, that's the only option available. Uh, since you are not very far away in Ulve, I would, you know, welcome you. Why don't you visit us in the academy? We are in Nerul, and probably, you know, bring your spouse along, have a conversation. Hopefully, if it doesn't, you know, I don't think of convincing, but I think it'll open up a perspective that maybe. At the end of the day, if your child and teacher, one of the things I learned about open schooling or online schooling is it's very democratic and it's very transparent. Uh, probably you know what the teacher's pronunciation is, the qualification, the way she teaches, the interaction. It is something that we are looking into. I also suggest that if not for regular schooling, it's a big move, a leap of faith. Go ahead for an online life skill program or a public speaking program. Uh, I will share some of the workshops we do. There is a workshop we do. I enjoy so much talking about student CEO. It's an entrepreneurship program based on NIS, but as a after-school hobby class. And, and I think uh, one of the best thing you would, you know do is open these forums and have conversation. The last part, school not admitting. Uh, ideally, uh, there are some schools we are very particular about a TC. Uh, so you need to you know convince them that you homeschooled a child or. Go for a regular program or a, or a emerging school, say an orchid in, in Seawoods. Because the new schools, maybe they ask for a little donation, but those are schools which will accept you without a TC. Uh, beyond that, you know, you're welcome to come and meet me and we'll take it over. Well, I'll do that. Yes. I'll, I'll definitely get uh, connected first and then uh, we'll meet up. Sure. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you and so much. Doubt, and, doubt, sir, yes, yes. Okay, we'll take this as a last question, sir. And what do you have to offer for OBE, ABC? Um, like initial things, uh, like learning to read and write, something like that. Uh, could you elaborate? Uh, as like, an OB, like as a in golden spare, or do you teach people to read and write and just starting thing, starting with studies? Oh yes, I mean, uh, so golden sparrow, uh, sir, is is an online school. Uh, there is a physical uh, setup, but primarily it's an online school. Mm -hmm. So we start from pre-primary. Uh, why, which I don't endorse going online, but I still have a pre-primary. Uh, the teacher was wonderful. Uh, she teaches uh, Janelia and, and Ritesh Deshmukh kids. We said, okay, we'll take her in. So phonics. So we teach phonics for the early uh, child. Uh, you know, there we come in. Grade one, we start with fundamentals. We use Cambridge University Press as the program books. Uh, so the PDFs are available for the parent. And we start from those foundation, build up on that. If a child wants to appear for OB, we'll apply for the child. Uh, we'll set up the question paper and the child can write the OB or else we say we do internal examination and assessments and primarily they, we take the entire journey from one onwards and the NIS grade 10 is is the is the dest is the milestone rather not the destination. Hope I could answer or give yeah, you no, my, my oh yeah. Uh, for example, somebody is, is barking in, is, is starting the journey of this homeschooling and since the beginning and somebody like a child needs to leave learn the, what yes, were the yes. people doing class one two three right 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 yes yeah, yeah. so what do you have to offer for that or would you advise for oh, that uh, so so no absolutely uh, what i would recommend generally i'll recommend read aloud a lot to your child take up a phonic book so many of them are available online uh, cambridge university press is a beautiful curriculum there is a grade one learning outcome chart just message me and i'll share the chart with you so you know that, okay i have to do these things to a child number one number two 
in grade one, for example, I've got some child, you know, who who's supposed to be in grade four, but because the, the beginning program was not very good, online gives you that liberty. I can close my camera. I can still listen. I don't feel embarrassed. We start from a very basic level at grade one, which is age six onwards, basic maths, basic science, English, uh, SDG goals, life skills. And that is where the entire journey starts. Uh, you can also, you know, uh, choose to have a demo session if you wish to a week demo session, see if the child enjoys it and it will be a good endorsement for me, a testimonial and you can give feedback also. Always welcome. Okay, I'll, I'll message you in person. Please do that, right. And like any like fee structure, anything would you like? Would you like oh, yes. Uh, do not uh, hesitate. Ask me. A fee starts from 25,000 for the entire year to 55,000 for grade 10 and 12, which includes the NIS uh, and the book fee. That's about right. it. And, and you don't have to pay for the bus fee. You can pay for internet at home. So <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much, everybody. I, I really enjoyed speaking to you. Naz, ma'am, thank you so much for your final words. I hope we can take this conversation forward. You can spread the word. Once again, thank you so far. Goodbye.